Yes, yes, it finally came. It finally came. It's here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's open this. I'm hiding my labels. <laughs> This is the one that everybody's been talking about. I got it for a really super, super good deal. Um, actually, I got $71 off on this thing because I went to Amazon and they had it on sale. And I didn't have to pay shipping through Amazon. I don't know if Luetti was charging shipping or not because I didn't want to have to process the order to find out. So I just went straight to Amazon, got it from there. Nice thick packing material. user manual and the unit itself there you have it isn't it awesome and the reason I got this is because I have two 12 volt compressor car refrigerators. I have a 30 quart to use as a freezer and I have a 54 quart to use as a refrigerator. I already have a 300 watt um, Go Labs power station and it would run them but I wanted another one, another power station and this is a 600 watt. So this is really going to have come in handy, really, really handy. Awesomes! And there are tons and tons, well, maybe not tons, but there are several channels that are featuring this unit. So if you want to learn more about it, I'll leave it to their professionalism versus my non-professionalism towards reviews and such. I'm just really happy to have this. So I'm going to go charge it up. And we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I am still prepping. Today is August 18th, 2022, and I was hoping to be out of here by now, but there have been several um, obstacles that have prevented me from leaving. So I'm still working on it. I've got a lot of stuff packed into the van now. I have the cat cages here. And because they can't travel free, <laughs> like I said before, if I open my doors, pull over, what have you, they'll run away. So, and uh, who needs a cat jumping on their head while they're driving because a cat suddenly freaked out over something? It's not good. So, you got my ice chesties in here, my 12 volt refrigerator, car refrigerator things. And my power stations are still inside the motor home. They'll come out um, um, right before I leave because they can't sit in heat. It's probably not a good idea to have these sitting in heat either, but they'll be okay. They're not on right now. Whew, it is hot today, so I need to get on the roof of the Twinkie and fix the roof vent and uh, just start clearing the Twinkie out more. I've got most of it in order now, but um, I've got to get it prepped so it can be moved over to storage. Still working on it all. Just uh, wanted to give you an update. Here are the van lights. They're pretty awesome. Battery operated remote control. Things I do before I have to leave. I'm putting uh, about 10 gallons 
of gas into the motorhome. I've got another gas can here and it's already got uh, about a quarter of a tank. So we'll see how much that gives me. If it gives me about a half a tank, then I'm gonna put some sea foam in it to uh, just protect the gasoline while I'm gone. Cause I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. And I'm getting the Twinkie prepped for storage. So I have to go back in there and get it finished. Right here I have a cut off white water hose. My neighbor had to throw hers away and I asked her if I could cut off a big chunk of it because <laughs> the other end of hers wasn't working. So it's a score for me. Makes it easier to fill my water bottles. Put on a new filter on my water and I have these two containers to fill. So we have to turn on the water filter first and let it clear out because it's a carbon filter and black stuff will come out of it. I don't know if you saw that or not, but black stuff came out of it. So I'll let that flow for a little bit and then I'll turn it off and hook up the white water hose and we'll fill those containers. Containers have never been used, so I'm going to rinse them out first. Turn this back on. Let this hose rinse out a little bit because it's been sitting around. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in each one. Rinse them out really good and then fill them up. Hey, this is awesome. I'm glad I got this little hose. It'll help a lot, especially when traveling. Okay, shut off the water and uh, swish them out, rinse them out, and then fill them up. Okay, I put water in them, swished them around really well. Now I'm filling them up. These are six gallon water containers purchased at Walmart uh, probably around $16 each I don't remember now so I'll fill those up I have them on a little dolly I've got to figure out how to take that with me too just for this purpose and then I'll get them in the van By moving the passenger seat up, I got a lot more space. So the water containers can fit there along with the hose and the water filter. And uh, this is just a cheap rubber backed rug from the Dollar Tree. So that'll help protect the floor in case anything were to leak. Uh, I have a uh, sleeping bag right there and a little ice chest to travel with. And of course I have my coolers back here. It's a mess in here right now. I'm still putting stuff in, taking stuff out. So I have a refrigerator there and a freezer there. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> and they're in. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. So heavy. Ooh. Eight point something uh, pounds per gallon. It's what water weighs. I don't remember what it is exactly. And I have this, doesn't exactly fit, but uh, if it's enough, I can't leave it attached to one of those, but I can take it off and put it on as needed. So that'll work for me as well. Okay, I'm gonna put my hose and, uh, actually I left my hose outside to dry out. So I let that dry out. My water filter, it's somewhere. <laughs> Here it is. So these uh, bags are awesome. I buy them, uh, buy a big box of them. I guess I'll just stick that there. It won't, it won't roll around there. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, goodness. Lots and lots of work. But everything's necessary that I'm doing. These bags are invaluable. <laughs> um, you know, I had him replace my serpentine belt, and I think this one wasn't very old, and I kind of forgot that it was already replaced. So I put it in this bag with the label, with the belt uh, 
packaging on it so that anything goes wrong. I have this belt as a backup and I have that as part number. I also bought a tire repair kit and of course I have a an air inflator in here, a tire inflator, a, a decent one. And so I could break that apart and put it in that baggage, but I think I'll just uh, stick it under the seat. And I have my dog bone too, just in case. 50 on this end, 30 on this side, and then this is an adapter to turn 30 into 110. Just in case, in case I stay at a campground or a state park or something, just be prepared for all the different types of power because if I stop, then I'm going to be plugging these back in and uh, whew, I charge my power stations and stuff. I have two power stations, one per ice chest. <laughs> okay, the Twinkie's coming into storage. Think it'll miss its sister Twinkie? <laughs> Twinkie twins. <laughs> okay. I think I heard something fall. The Twinkie is now in storage. <laughs> So, I'm leaving today. What is today? I don't know. Today is August 28th, 2022. And I'm packing my last minute stuff, cleaning up my site, and got to skedaddle. Check it out, a black longhorn. Look how cool his horns look. Too bad he's showing his southern side. <laughs> younger one over there. Very neat. 